not with the platform. I never start with the platform. It's what is the community for? What do they want to do? And what activities do they need to do that? So if I'm trying to do a community of practice, people who want to learn about their work, maybe one of the things they want to do is ask questions and answers of each other. So, you know, this idea of an ongoing conversation, you'd look for a tool that supports conversation. Maybe there's another community that looks about sharing their photographs. So they want a tool that easily shares images. It depends on the activity. And, and typically communities have a cluster of activities that are important to them. And once you've thought about the cluster of activities, then you think about the context. You know, our, I work in international development. A lot of people have, you know, iffy bandwidth. So if I use a page it takes forever to load, nothing. So I got to think about those different things. Then you can start picking. Well, you know, we want to write together. A wiki might be good, or Google Docs might be good. Um, we really want to keep track of our conversations. Then we need a discussion forum that captures the things. Or we want to be in the moment. We don't care if it's captured. Maybe Twitter would work, actually, for some communities. This, this last week we were working, doing some trainings, and we were tweeting out reports from the meeting. And there were people who were interested in the subject who could engage. And for a moment, for a moment in time, we were together. Now, is, does this community last forever? If people really found passion, maybe they'd want to connect in a more formal way. So it depends. What activities are you supporting? 